everybody. Today I'm going to be working on this 1964 Custom 6. Actually, it's a Custom 600. I got this for a pretty good price. I knew a guy, he was looking for some, a brake band for this thing uh, a couple years back. And I, he told me about this. And I searched and I finally got him a brake band, but then he found the original brake band. Uh, then he told me he thought he'd, he was thinking about selling it. So I'm like, well, you know, I'll probably take it off your hands. And this is before I even ever saw it. So, uh, just because I knew the 64s were kind of rare, too. You don't see them every day. And uh, I thought it was going to be in good shape. I got this thing for uh, 280 I think. And it came with... Uh, three-point hitch and it also came with a uh, a plow for the back so uh, that's a pretty good deal right there and all in all you know it's not in too bad a shape for being as old of, for being as old as it is it does have a replacement engine in it it's actually not a six horse it's a five horse but it was replaced a long time ago. And they actually, you know, I don't know if that's the original blower housing or not, because it, it says Craftsman on it, so I don't know. And it is white, so it very well could have been a Craftsman engine replaced in this thing. But it's, it's an old engine, so it was replaced a long time ago. Unfortunately, that's not the original tire. However, that one is. And the other original tire is right there. But it's no good. Can't even put a tube in it. It's got a big split in the side. So I'm just going to probably get another tire like this and put it on the other side and replace both both of these tires small ones anyway it runs it doesn't run great so I'm gonna clean out the carburetor today and see if I can get this thing running a little bit better I want to take this one up to our, our tractor shows this year so I've been looking for a muffler for this tractor too and it's it's a weird kind of muffler because it comes out right here so it doesn't bend it's got a muffler here and then the pipe comes out like that uh, I've got another 64 Custom 600 too with the homemade loader plow on it. I'll show you that another time. Cool thing is it still has a side badge here. That's pretty neat. Those are probably usually gone, but it doesn't have one on the other side. So, I don't know. Maybe it only came on one side. I don't know. Ah, uh, probably not. I don't know. Who knows, maybe this is the original steering wheel cover, and they just riveted on here. I don't know. So, I'm going to work on this now. Catch you in a few. Alright, for today's job, I'm going to need... 3/8 ratchet, 3/8 long extension, 7/16 socket, and just in case that don't work, I've got a quarter inch ratchet, 
long extension and 7 16 socket for that. Got a 7 16 wrench in case it still don't work. And a crescent wrench. Probably should always have a crescent wrench because that beats going back and forth to your toolbox trying to find the correct wrench. If you just have your crescent wrench, you can't go wrong because you can get any size. Uh, a long needle nose pliers just in case, a short needle nose just in case, a, silent, a set of Allen wrenches, quarter inch, a small Phillips screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. All right, we're going to get to work now. So, I guess first thing I'll do is I'll take off this, uh, this gas line. Uh, there's no gas in here, so I don't have to worry about gas spilling all over the place. Uh, and got to undo the throttle cable here. And it's hot out today. Next thing is I've got to take off the muffler because the two nuts that hold this carburetor on is blocked by this muffler. So, and I've had this carburetor and muffler off before uh, when I got it. Trying to tune it up and it just wasn't, I just couldn't get it running right. So. It just needs a carb clean, I think, so. Because it was, remember, the guy I got it from, he said uh, he needed a brake band, so he wouldn't drive this thing. So it, it was sitting for a couple good years. A couple, I don't know, three, four years. I'm guessing so. That's why I think it just needs a carb cleaner. That's not a big deal. Yeah. I'm not going to show you how to clean the carb. There's plenty of videos on there. And there's one guy on there. He's really good. His name's Zippo Varga. And uh, he does Bridge and Stratton. And there's another couple other guys on there. Don Boy, something. He deals in Tecumseh engines. Uh, he's really good. And there's one more guy, too, does Briggs and uh, Tecumseh's. And he's got a really good video on rebuild, uh, cleaning up carburetor out too. Uh, his name is, man I forget his name, some guitar something, FN guitars, something like that, I don't know, I don't remember his name, but he's real good too. Yeah, this is kind of giving me a little problem getting this off here. I think I put these, I think I put these on here, these Allen, these Allen bolts. I think originally they come with like Phillips or something like that. Man, when you strip those out, man, it just, it just sucks trying to get those out when they're stripped out. So I think I put... I think I'm the one that put these Allen screws, Allen bolts on here so it would be a little easier to get out. I don't have to worry about them stripping out. It's just my, my wrench is too long. But I got it in there so I know damn well it'll come out. Almost got it there. little 
it, you know, sometimes if you got the right size screwdriver, you can just get the screwdriver in the little corners of the atoms that if it's loose enough, you know. Just a little trick. No. I caught you video and now I'm videoing you videoing. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm sorry, go ahead if you're, if you're No no, I'm just taking off this carburetor. Taking off this elbow. And which tractor is this? Melissa? Yeah. What year? Sixty-four. She's named Melissa because you named it Melissa. Well, oh, yeah, I'm mad and I've been trying to a name. I use my agree with that. So, no major troubles yet? Not yet. Well, I'm not having problems getting that. Looks like I'm gonna. <laughs> just messed up your video. Yeah, it's all right. You can edit like that. You just gotta use a wrench. Seven sixteenths wrench. Socket won't fit down in there. Actually, this tractor is her tractor. I gave this to her. It's whose tractor? Your, your tractor. Whose tractor? Your tractor. My tractor. Your tractor. Yeah. Because I know. I sold Grandma, which was nothing but going to be nothing but a headache. Melissa is a twin to Abigail. <coughs> well, as far as the tractors are, anyway. King Diamond's a little bit different. Good looking machine. It's going to be a lot of fun. Say it, Ricky. It's tractor time. It's not loud enough. Uh oh. Oops. Well, carbs off. All right. Well, I'm gonna clean this up. Put it back on. See you in a little while. All right, everybody. Clean it out as best as I could. I didn't have a straw for my carburetor can. Carburetor cleaner can, so I did the best I could with compressed air. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I also had a a gasket from uh, the fast idle, the rubber gasket that goes inside. That was that was shot. So I would advise you if you ever order new a new carburetor kit. Keep some, just keep uh, 
the old stuff on hand because if I want to had an extra one from an old carb I would have had to order another carburetor kit and uh, you know then be down for another week so good idea just to keep your old stuff just in case I just happened to rebuild a friend's carburetor and had a gasket so lucky for me anyway I hope this works I'm gonna get this all back together and I got the stud here that's a bit loose. I've had this happen to me before on another engine. Man, I could not get that carburetor off. So, what I ended up doing was having to make my own my own screws for the back. Because they, they flange out. They flange like they flange out like this. So I had a I took some Allen bolts. So that way I could get behind there with an Allen Allen wrench, but this isn't tightening up, so I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot then. to get a shut off valve on this. I don't think it has one. Oh yeah it does. Okay, no I don't. Yeah I put a shut off a gas shut off in the line on everything because never know what's gonna happen. I've got a tractor if you don't shut off the gas line. All the gas will go right down the crankcase. You gotta change your oil. I got a little problem here. I got this stud that's turning with the nut, so I have to work on that. Okay, I got this carburetor back off again. This is what I was talking about. You got these two Phillips screws here, and they're like this. They're like this. And here. And if one of these are loose, or if both of them are loose, you try to take this part, just the carburetor off, look what happens. See, it moves, turns and turns and turns and turns, and you'll never get that damn thing off. So instead, you have to take this spacer off that also has these screws, right? Let's see, I've got one right here. So you got these screws here, and then they get bolted in to the block. The well, problem is, how are you going to get a screwdriver down here? Let me show you with my long one. I mean, you barely can get that in there. And if that thing is tight, and I don't know, it's just, it's just a stupid design. I don't know why they did that. Retarded. So now since this thing turns, I have to put it together like this. 
least it's on the easy side. See how this side is, turns too. So you tell me, how would you ever get that carburetor off? Stupid design. And that's what I was telling you about. I got some Allen screws that took the place of the Phillips screws. Now hopefully I can get this in here. You know, th this is what I call fixing something to fix something to fix something. You know, you ever have that? You're going to fix something and then you got to fix something to fix whatever you wanted to fix in the first place. That's why I always say things take a, take an hour, takes an hour to do, hour and a day and a half and a month to do because you always got to fix something to fix something that you want, originally wanted to fix in the first place. that painted uh, part done, so. Okay, I'm going to finish this job up here and then when I'm done we'll uh, try to start her up. Hey everybody, almost done here. Just got to uh, put on the air filter and hook up the gas line, put gas in it and we'll give her, we'll give her a try. I'm not going to promise anything. but. You know, it's worth a shot anyway. Got a bag gasket here. Got a little little rip right around the where you put the screw in. Hope that don't uh, affect anything. If it does, oh well. You know, it just run like crap, I suppose. Get too much air. I am by means no mechanic. I just watch people on YouTube, YouTube do this stuff, and that's how I learn my stuff. Cool. I advise you to do the same thing.
hook up the gas line. This hose clamp wasn't in a really good spot where I could get at it before. I'm going to fix that right now. Some gas in it, see what happens. I'm only going to put a little bit of gas in here. Not too much. Give that a minute. Give that a little, little bit to get in the carburetor. I'll oh, have a drink. Wow, I don't see no leaks so far. That's good. Make sure this time it's out of gear. The last video you saw, I tried to start Grandpa while it was still in gear. Not a good idea. Battery charger, but we'll, we'll just check it out and see. You ready? Mm -hmm.
you think? Sounds pretty good, eh? Sounds great. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hell yeah. We'll see you next time. Who knows what tractor will be out next time. See ya.